think one of the key insights really is that if uh, supply was a problem uh, and it was too constrained, then we would expect to see rents rising and the rental equivalent value of house, houses rising. Uh, but actually what we see is that that's been pretty flat over the last 25 years relative to incomes. In fact, it's fallen slightly against incomes in recent years. And yet prices have gone through the roof, which means that yields on housing have fallen, uh, which is something that's in common with lots of other assets around the world. As global interest rates have fallen, uh, we've seen yields falling. But that also means that if those global interest rates were to change, then we can expect to see a, a similar uh, reverse effect on, on house prices. I think the main message is that uh, there are many problems in the housing market, uh, but they are not uh, really related to supply. More supply is probably no bad thing, but it's not going to reverse. No plausible level of supply would reverse the huge boom in house prices that we've seen over the last uh, 20, 20 or so years. And so if we want to, uh, a solution to that, we need to look at the financial sector and what's happening there, because that's where most of the action is in terms of uh, pushing up house prices. We have a bit of a policy trilemma. We can uh, offer very high levels of risky lending to first-time buyers at 102% loan-to-value rates and hide all that risk in the banking sector. And that's what we were doing before the crisis and achieving high levels of home ownership. But it wasn't sustainable. Uh, and so home ownership uh, essentially fell and we started to regulate high loan-to-value lending much more. Uh, and that has resulted in much lower levels of home ownership today than we had 10 or 15 years ago. And we won't be able to recover cover those high levels of home ownership without either reversing that financial deregulation, which would probably be very unwise, or else introducing fiscal subsidies to homeowners. Uh, so really policymakers need to decide whether they want to subsidise homeowners directly uh, or deregulate the financial sector or accept that homeownership will not return to the levels we saw 15 years ago.